So now let's see how we can work around with the drawing tool inside of Pixlr X. So to work with drawing tool, you should go on to the left side right over here where it says drawing. So the keyboard shortcut for it is B as you can see right over there. So if I were to click over here, you can see that it is similar to what you find in a, re a retouch tool right over here. So you got brushes instead of the different uh, retouching tools. So over here, you can see that you can work around with the size, softness, transparency, and the color. So let us work around with the default brush tool right here and click and drag it out. You can see that a white soft uh, paint is applied paint like uh, pixels whatever is applied as you can see right here so you can change the size of the brush right over here as you can see so it really changes the size you can change out the softness of the brush or you can make it very very harsh as you can see right over here you can change the transparency level so right now it's 100 percent so you can go around to 50 percent right over here you can go to 18 percent to make it much more softer as you can see right over here so you can change around the softness as well you can change the color so right now it's white so you can choose some other color from the choice right here and start drawing out so i'm just going to increase the transparency so that you know that this is the color or you can go around here on to different color option choose around the color you want as you can see right over here according to what you want and draw out as well you can also use the color picker right over here to choose the color of your choice from the image and then draw out that color over there as well so if you want to draw out something like in the tree itself then you can see that the color matches if i use the color picker you can also enter the hexadecimal code of the color if you know the exact hexadecimal code as well so that is the brush tool right over here so you just draw out like uh, blobs of colors then the other one is the eraser tool so you can increase the size of the eraser and then just erase it out as you can see so you can erase parts of image right over here you can use the softness as well so you can really increase out the softness and you can see that you have a soft eraser you can set the transparency as well so that it does not erase everything right over here but just makes it a bit transparent as you can see right over here so just like brush you got the eraser which works the exact opposite then you have the pen tool right over here so you can see that there's different type of pen that you can choose so you can see that it actually is like a pen right over here you can choose like a parallel pen right over here you can choose a sketchy pen right over here so there's different type of pens so you can increase the size of it and that is how it actually looks like as you can see so let me just change this out this is how the sketchy pen looks like this is how the fluffy pen looks like and so forth so you can see that there's a uh, different type of pens like crayons that you can use so you can really work around with a blank canvas as well directly as you can see from right over here just like this so this is the pen tool the other one is the shape tool now so if you were to go over here there's different shapes uh, so this is kind of getting crowded so I'm just going to go around and make a shape all around as you can see so it creates a white little shape right over there you can choose different colors and click and drag out shapes right over here as you can see so you can drag out the uh, square shapes and you can drag out circle shapes over here as well you can just drag out triangular shapes choose the color that you want just like that if you just want the outline of the shapes you can go over here and just make the outline as well so you can change the outline color of the shape as well and change the size of the outline as well just like that as you can see and then you can work with shapes but all of the shapes right here by default gets drawn in one layer so you won't be able to edit it uh, if you keep it in the same layer so if you want to edit it later you may want to make new layers right over here like an empty layer for example click on new layer an empty layer would be uh, created we're going to talk about the types of layers in future lessons as well but over here you can see that there's the layer the shape layer that is created so you can go on to the move tool and move around that layer just like that and resize this out as well so that is something that you can do over here with the uh, drawing tool right over here as you can see so you can go to the drawing tool and you have the razor tool pen tool shape tool to actually make out graphics inside of the uh, pixlr x app so that is how you can use the drawing tool inside of pixlr x so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe